Hey, what's up guys? Um, since we got the Tekken location test play from Japan, since we've seen like, the videos a couple of weeks ago, and I talked about you know a bit about it before, I thought I thought I might you know add some good things that I think would be good to add in Tekken 7 or maybe change from what we've seen. So you know we got like the basic rundown of what direction Tekken 7 is going at. And um, we got to see like the rage arts and and um, you know some of the absorption moves and you know the new juggling system kind of changed it. And well, for the most part, I, I'm okay with most of them. You know, most of most people are saying, oh, Tekken 7 is, is too flashy now. You know, they've gone like a bit like down the road to like Street Fighter and stuff. Um, yeah. <sighs> I kind of agree with kind of with that. I, I don't really mind the big flashes, but some people might have issues with that. And I think, yeah, you know, her rider could be like reduce, reduce it down a bit, you know, not not to make it too flashy and stuff. And, you know, I like the the whole the new slow motion when you're about to die. You know, it brings tense tension to the game, which is nice. Um, you know, but like some of the rage arts. If the rage arts are going to be in there, it better be one of those you know high risks, high reward thing. I mean, like you, you, you're nearly dead, and then you do like some special move to you know, to try, well, beefy damage or whatnot. You know, if you're either rewarded for it, or if you're going to block, then you're kind of screwed, really. So yeah. Um, apart from that, you look. Um, I think when you think about Tekken Six, Tekken Six, <laughs> Tekken Seven is going in the right direction. I think. You know, and the new dragon system doesn't really bother me. You know, the banding, banding is gone. Apart from moves, which which put you into auto bound, you know, how, for example, you know, um, laws four 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 uh, four three or something like that. You know, that that's, that still works, but you know, you can't juggle from you can't bound from the air anymore during you, you juggle. So there you go. So the new juggling system is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. I think what would be nice for a rider to do for Tekken Seven is you know, a good thing that he could do is perhaps let the Tekken fans, you know, you know, perhaps. Vote, vote, um, vote for new, not new, for uh, classic stages from the Tekken history. I think that that would be nice. I mean, Tekken Seven would have his own stages, but they could, he could also add a few more stages. You know, um, you know, maybe one from each Tekken thing, one from Tekken One, one from Tekken Two, one from Tekken Three, and one from Tekken Tag, maybe one from Tekken Four, and so on. You know, he, he's always had this trend when that he's had a. Um, a specific, you know, type of stage. For example, there were in, there, in, in almost every Tekken game, not every Tekken game, but almost every Tekken game, there's like um, there's um, there's like a forest or a jungle stage, you know, um, especially the more recent Tekken games from like I think Tekken Four, or Tekken Three upwards. It, 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 there's always been like um, a, you know, a jungle stage or something like that, or a forest stage. There, there's always been um. What's it? A, a beach stage or a um, Get ready a, a beach battle. stage or a um, swimming pool stage uh, or maybe um, there's been a chaotic stage or something like that, you know. But that's not the point. What I'm trying to say is, you know, um, you know, maybe open open just put a poll up, you know, let let the Tekken community know, you know, um, let them vote one one stage per game in Tekken history. So they will have one stage from Tekken one. One stage from Tekken two, one stage from Tekken three, you know things like that. Just let them decide. You know, I think it's a good way for him to communicate. You know, to let us, you know, to bring us into like the development scene or whatever. You know, and and, and yeah, see what you know. I think I just think that that's a good idea. And speaking of you know letting letting like having polls and you know voting and stuff, you know he could. I know Tekken Seven is part of the main storyline again, but that doesn't mean he can't have bonus characters and maybe add. Maybe I don't you know anywhere between three to like six bonus characters from from Tekken 2, you know, because Tekken 2 has most of the characters that's already appeared throughout Tekken history, um, you know, um, but not have um, you know firm characters, you know, unnecessary ones like Lee and Violet, you know, exactly the same ca character, they're, they're the same people, it's just that you know he's got Lee and Violet. I mean Violet has like maybe two, three. Three moves different from me and stuff like that. But apart from that, they're exactly the same people, so they they were kind of unnecessary. Um, 
you know, um, double lords, you know, uh, again, 95% different with like a few minor differences. Uh, double jacks, you know, again, very. Uh, P Jack being the worst than Jack, but you know, P Jack has some of his own unique names to him. <laughs> Things like that. So you, you can't have, I'm sure we're not going to have any you know, coin characters. But characters like, you know, King and Armor King, I don't think they're coin characters. I mean, they're kind of similar in a way, but they're, they're very unique to be, you know, to have their own separate palette in the game. But at this stage, we're not too sure if Armor King is going to be in Tekken 7. Um, who else? Like Konimitsu. Konimitsu can, can come back in Tekken 4 or Tekken 7. Maybe as a bonus character. I don't know if she'll be in the story, but you know she, she can definitely come back as a bonus character. You know, um, Olga, an ancient Olga, I think would be would be good, would be good to have back as a, as a rooster, back back on the Tekken 7 rooster. Um, but instead of having their own separate palette, I mean. They could they could perhaps tra transform during gameplay, you know, at will, um, um, just like you know in Tekken, just like um, uh, um, Kazuya and Jin, you know, they can transform during gameplay. Yeah, perhaps perhaps add that to it. Uh, perhaps yeah, I think that's yeah. Just so yeah, it, it'd be it'd be good to you know you know add you know to see some of these characters come back. You know, not clone characters, but you know some of the characters that actually matter, and yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be fun. It's just another, you know, maybe three or six addition to like the room stuff, you know, and um, yeah. So there you go. Um, yeah, but not we're not gonna have or nowhere near as like you know near nearly sixty characters as in. Um, in Tekken, in Tekken 2, Tekken Tech 2, so, yeah. okay, so, uh, as you guys can see, this is my promotion match to, um, Pugin again, I've been on Pugin before, but I just had to get there again, <laughs> I've had bad times, I've been in the by a few times, but I'm trying to get it back, so let's see, okay, okay, <laughs> oops, oops, nope, no, no, nope, <laughs> yeah, that's a guessing game, man. That's Raven. He's a he's a high risk, high reward immune character. Okay, thanks for watching.